Africa provides the perfect landscape for overland travel. A natural mix of wildlife, adventure, rugged terrain and breathtaking coastlines. But behind the beauty lies the harsh reality that many rural school children face. Justin Brogan experienced this firsthand when he met a little boy on the dusty streets of Mozambique while on holiday a few years ago. Uh, an actual child called Michael that grabbed hold of me uh, and manhandled me out of my Land Rover and sat me down in his uh, little crawl and um, in broken English told me how things are, how bad things are and they using charcoal you know burnt sticks to write with. The encounter touched a nerve and prompted Brogan to launch an annual expedition through South Africa and across our borders delivering much needed supplies to rural schools. You can't talk about uh, health um, and, and all these other matters without first having an education. You can't e expect people to conserve nature, conserve water, all these elements um, without even knowing how to write or even talk properly. This year's month-long trip saw him travel from Cape Agulhas, the southernmost tip of Africa, through the Eastern Cape, KwaZulu-Natal, across the border into Mozambique, Swaziland, Botswana, Namibia, and back down the west coast, home to Cape Town. We met up with him at his final stop, a school in Malmesbury, where he handed out the last of his supplies and recounted stories of his travels to a classroom full of eager listeners. Brogan, who co-owns a nursing home in Cape Town, believes that anyone who is in a position to travel can make a difference. I would like to see more people, if possible, just putting a shoebox together. You know, everyone knows when they're going on holiday. And if, if you're going to these uh, lovely areas, don't feel guilty about going there. You've earned it. Just take a box full of pens and pencils. It means so much to children out there. And while many South Africans begin planning their December holidays, it is straight to business for Brogan, who is already laying the groundwork and trying to secure sponsors for next year's expedition. Robin Smith, Cape Town.